The content of this video is only a supplement to the instructions for use and the service manual and is therefore not mandatory. The Ease 2 demand valve is a Class 2A MD device. Ease 2 is a self-administering respiration device to be used for Mayopa. The Ease 2 demand valves are reusable and replace the non-reusable kits. The demand valve is a medical device that should be checked at least once a year by the user. Check the demand valve serial number is legible. If the serial number is not legible, the demand valve should be removed from service. The first four digits of the serial number is the year of manufacture. Check the demand valve is not due for a five-year service, nor has exceeded the 10-year life period. Check the hose has no damage to its outer cover, such as cuts or significant abrasions. Check the hose is not kinked or misshapen. Check the metal probe connector of the hose is not damaged or worn. Check the demand valve body and rear cap is not cracked or damaged. Check the three small grub screws securing the demand valve rear cap to the main body are in place. Check the label on the rear cap is in place and in good condition. If cracks or significant damage are evident on the valve body or on the rear cap, the demand valve should be withdrawn from service and returned to an approved GCE repairer. Unscrew the blue part from the main valve body and check for cracks or damage. Check the exhale valve flap for tears and splits. Replace the parts if necessary. Refit the exhale valve flap to the patient port. Lift the inhale disc assembly out of the demand valve body. Remove the inhale valve flap from the inhale disc. Examine the inhale disc and pin. Check they are not bent. Examine the inhale valve flap for tears and splits. Replace damaged parts if required. Refit the inhale valve flap to the inhale disc and make sure it is done in the right way. These words visible should be on the top. Using a suitable leak detection fluid, check for leaks at the joint between the hose and the hose fittings at each end of the hose. The swivel joint between the demand valve body and the hose fitting. The connection between the hose probe and the gas supply point. The leak detection fluid should be compatible with oxygen and suitable for use on plastic components. Unscrew the patient port assembly from the demand valve body and lift out the inhale disc assembly. While the demand valve is connected to the gas supply, hold the DV body close to your ear with the outlet holes towards your ear and listen for leaks. No leaks should be heard. Also check the connection between the demand valve and the bottle. Refit the patient port to the body of the valve. 